Volg deze route nog 4 kilometer. We are leaving this this place. <laughs> That was a branch of a tree. It was a very good place to be. Quiet and nature, beautiful, the birds singing. But only last night we got some heavy rain and lightning and thunder. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, Bo was very scared, so uh, I picked her up from the front where she tried to hide out. But, uh, let's see, I believe the navigation said I had to go to the left. But, uh, yeah, she hide out, but when the the thunder and the lightning uh, was uh, getting closer, she uh, she was very scared, so I know her, and I uh, checked on her a few times, and then when it came closer, she, yeah, then, uh, at the end, she wanted to uh, <coughs> she, she come back to the back. Because I cannot reach her from there, um, I have to go out inside there. And, uh, but she came uh, to the back again and uh, I could pick her up and put her up bed with me. And uh, yeah, there she stayed till uh, in the morning when it uh, started to get light again. And uh, she went out uh, in front. But yeah, she doesn't like... Uh, Thunder. It's uh, it's a thing we've been in uh, thunder once uh, before, and it was uh, yeah, it, <laughs> it did not even that long ago. It was uh, when I just before I left the Netherlands for Denmark. It um, it was uh, the night when I was uh, out camping with Adam and. Um, Yeah, there was really, really heavy uh, thunder going on. It was just above, so everything shook and uh, you could feel it uh, in the ground and the van was shaking, so, and uh, yeah, she was uh, very scared. Uh, she was very scared back then, and uh, now again when uh, thunder uh, starts, I know, uh, oh, sorry, she's probably uh, going to be scared again, but I must say, uh, this morning we had a bit of thunder, but it wasn't that close, and then, uh, no, there was no problem, maybe it also makes a difference if it's in the night, or uh, if it's already light out, so, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, we are, um, on the road and we are heading for the, um, the west coast of Zealand. And, uh, Volg deze route nog twee kilometer. And uh, we saw the place at the beach or just near the beach. I found a place uh, in the part for night app, but uh, then scoping out the area on the satellite image, we found a even better place further down the road, right at the beach. But uh, then uh, lots uh, said, "Oh, it's uh, on my uh, app." Um, But as a day park, uh, I normally um, filter them out that I don't see the parkings uh, where there's only day parking allowed. And someone also put a picture up of a sign that said no camping allowed. But yeah, then again, I don't really feel that we are camping. Camping is taking chairs out and stuff like that. and. Uh, We're not uh, exactly uh, enough, yeah, the, the more RV-like, so it's just uh, when I'm 
when the doors close, it's just a van, and uh, the loss, of course, the same with this uh, minivan. So, uh, we'll see. Just It's just uh, a few hundred meters further down the road, so we'll uh, definitely check it out. And on the street view from Google, I could not see any signs that it was uh, no camping or overnight parking or whatever. And then again, we we stayed at uh, a location like that uh, before. So yeah. let's uh, let's see. Yeah, as you uh, can see, uh, it is a bit of a rainy day uh, at least up till now. It should clear up a bit. It at least get dry. Stay a bit cloudy, I think, with the sun coming out once every now and then. Temperature isn't bad, it's uh, uh, there's all rain over the rain drops on the thermometer, but I believe it's 15, 16 degrees, something like that, so as I can see. Another advantage of all the hard rain this night and this morning is probably, but I can't see that either, that all the... Name the tweede links. All the droppings from the caterpillars that were on the van from the night before, when I uh, I parked with, uh, when I camped with um, Lars and uh, Reno, with the guy in the blue van, that all those droppings got uh, washed off because they were all in the oak trees, and uh, it was ridiculous how the van looked. But okay. I didn't get any better up till now. <laughs> Raining uh, did not uh, decrease, but increase up till now. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're in um, the next mid-sized town, I believe. Soro or Soro, something like that. Na 400 meter, recht doorrijden. It really looks ridiculous with all those selection posters. <laughs> and I said that before. It's uh, still raining, not as hot at the moment anymore. Rechts afslaan. And the beach also is soaking wet. Looks like these are all uh, holiday uh, houses. Na 300 meter, rechts afslaan. I put in another destination, uh, staying in Strand or sweet. It was almost on the way. And it is so early, it's still just past 12. So, uh, now we're getting wet because of the supermarket. I wanted to dry out a bit, so I thought just drive a bit further. Rechts afslaan. This is a place that's in the park for night app. Man, yeah. you could definitely stay here, no problem. Here in 
the back, you're far from the road. Yeah, so this is still in a strand. There's not really anything to do here by the looks of it. It's a very small community, just What are you homes? Links of Slaan. So yeah, Kirke Stilling is strong. That's what it is called. And in the summer when you want to go to the beach or whatever, that's that's quite uh, quite fine. There's another parking when I entered this road. See, and there were also, but there were more vehicles in there already. Volg deze route nog drie kilometer. Also a toilet building. So yeah, that there was an also other possibility, I guess. Now we just drive along the, the coast now. There is a lot of uh, seagrass on the on the beach here, and it smells. It really stinks up the place. I don't know if they clean that up before the season really starts. I don't know. I did it in Spain at the beaches. smells like sewage so that's not too nice of a smell <laughs> yeah I do hope that it gets uh, a bit drier because uh, this is no fun Yeah, let's see. I'll put a camera on when we are uh, back at our next destination. Yeah, this is the location and, uh, where there is no sign that you cannot camp or whatever down here. So it's uh, yeah, parking a little parking lot. my asphalt you could stay here yeah, no problem but for now I'll drive back to the other spot I just look at there is actually a sign camping forbidden and so uh, but uh, to spend uh, the day there is no problem whatsoever and even I think I could easily stay the night around there who would care it's not really uh, like we are RVs and it's not in season and uh, 
we don't put chairs and stuff out so uh, yeah also here it's all uh, holiday uh, homes Here the first um, is also a little parking lot, but here to the right, the same parking, swimming, toilet, camping for good, no camping, camping for good. Well, we only uh, need to find a place where we are a bit on the grass with our door I would prefer that with this weather or else you drag all the little stones in and that's not really good for the final flooring so I prefer to stay on the grass Let's try to just put the bag here in the grass, in the bag out. Yeah, we could also stay there. But I'd rather watch the sea. Something like this would be nice, I guess. Let's see if we have more like, space I've got behind me. Big boulders. But yeah, this is uh, where we're gonna hang out for now at least, but I also think spend the night. Good morning, my YouTube friends. Good morning, good morning. It keeps on drizzling. I was planning on taking the gimbal and everything out and show you guys this location but all that stuff is not really waterproof so uh, I just do it like this out of hand and show you a bit of the location the fog kinda lifted but it's still hazy but that's more about low hanging clouds and um, yeah the drizzle that is going on we are right at the edge of a a rain front I saw on the radar, so we are on the good side, I guess. But I'll move across um, the bridge today, uh, leave uh, Sealand, and move on to the island Fyn. It's not really big, uh, way smaller than Sealand even. So uh, let's see if we stay there tomorrow. I don't know um, what I'm going to do exactly. I'm traveling alone for four days now, I guess. Yeah, it's Wednesday morning and um, I'm going to meet up with Lars on Sunday afternoon. So, uh, yeah, he was working in this neighborhood today. But tomorrow we're going way back in Copenhagen and then he has to drive from Copenhagen to Jylland for work on Friday. So yeah, that's... Uh, I did not want to do that, uh, the up and down driving for, uh, for nothing. So uh, I chose uh, to stay uh, here and move on slowly to Jylland already. And um, yeah, I'm gonna meet up with him in Jylland on uh, Sunday somewhere in the afternoon. So uh, yeah, I'll try to step out of the wind to the front of the van so we can show you the other side. But there is a lot of wind and it's head on. So I don't know how the sound is gonna be. I've got my hand over the microphone, so maybe it's not that bad. It depends always a bit. Head on, it's not that bad, I believe. It's 
more from the side. Yeah, it's not a bad place to uh, spend the night. It was fairly quiet. So, uh, really, it was a pity that it rained, really rained yesterday all day. And uh, now, uh, this morning, too, it keeps on drizzling. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't want to go out uh, with uh, everything uh, into that. Uh, just a racket. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take all, all out uh, for a minute. And then uh, we start driving. Uh, so here's Sophia. Bo is probably still in front. Yeah, there she is. Hello, Bo. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I see you on the road.